Hello and welcome everybody back to the channel again. This is Thomas. I am Lucky, bringing you more Madden 25 uh, franchise. Last time I played CM Freeze and somehow won. By somehow, I mean he definitely got screwed over. I mean, I mean the holding call in the fourth down. It's like I. I don't feel too bad about that but then uh for everything else or for the two fumbles it's like that's that's just unlucky two picks on me that's yeah i gotta be better there uh but it's really nice to walk away with the, with the win shift their focus away from the bills their offense is an advantage over our DO often. All right. One one thing that one thing that we both agreed on after that game ended is it's nice to be able to play each other again because we didn't play Madden 24 a lot and we didn't play uh, college football because we crossplay wasn't in Dynasty. All right. Well, we're talking to Jabril Peppers about this offense. Um, I guess we'll do better pursuit. I don't know. I, I'm not really too worried about this. Um, but yeah, uh, even though I've got a massive dopamine rush from that right now, I, I you gotta, can, you gotta keep moving forward. Um, I'm okay with blitz counter here. We do now have our sixth person for weekly training. And I'm not going to make a Javon Baker. I think my plan is to make a Christian Barmore. I'm really trying to go all in on making this defense better. So these are the core guys of the defense moving forward. So... Or at least the guys that realistically can get some development in. So I'm going to knock all these guys out. And I'll see you at the injury report. Alrighty, so looking at the injury report. We're pretty much good on offense. We do get Mike Owen one back next week. But yeah, we're clean. Do we have any players upgrading? Yes, we do. Oh, a lot of people do. Just little upgrades. Uh, looking at the Bills roster. Not the best one we've seen, but definitely an above average one. You have Josh Allen, Superstar X Factor quarterback at 96 overall. And you have Gregory Rousseau, I'm pretty sure only star dev, 90 overall defensive end. He is somebody that we're going to have to worry about. Um, then uh, Matt Milano, I guess, is also an X Factor. And then this is a pretty solid roster. I mean, I didn't even know Von Miller was still in the league, but he is, I guess. Um, like Jamal Adams on this team, Taron Johnson, who is hurt. What's he hurt with? He's out for the week. Any other big injuries? If there are, I'm not noticing them. That's pretty much it. Let's hop into the game. All right, playing against the Buffalo Bills at... Buffalo, we're currently riding off a 10 game win streak. And I'm pretty sure if we win this game, we pretty much put away the division. We're still on our quest for 2,000 yards with Mr. Antonio Gibson. We did get a good chunk of yardage last week with the big run plays. Somebody is hurt early. Number two, that is KJ Osborne. So we're going to see Tyquan Thornton. Enter the slot, maybe. And either way, Jalen Polk will be entering the field as Ed Oliver gets hurt very next play. Oh, no. Demario Douglas is my backup slot guy. Yeah, so we'll have to see how he does. I mean, I haven't seen him in a while. Muscle cramps. All right. Well, we'll just let you. You can take your time, bud. And I'm not too worried about this team.
but I mean, last minute goals for the last three games. Uh, wouldn't mind tacking on at least another 800 passing yards for Drake May. I feel like that isn't like one of the most unachievable goals in the world. Um, we definitely want to hit our goals with Antonio Gibson. If anything, that's more of a priority than our goals with Mr. May. Yeah, last week having 138 yards against Cameron. It's a big day. Incomplete pass on first down sends me to third and six. We're going to get this out to Javon Baker. We got fourth and one. I am going to be running this with Mr. I'm going to be running this with Antonio Gibson. We're going to get the yardage. Now here in first and 10 from the 11. Going to kick this to the outside. This is the touchdown. There we go. All right. Well, Bill's first drive on deep offense. And our first drive on defense. Okay. I don't get how James Cook wasn't just tackled there, but I guess not. Would have loved for that to be an interception. This team also threw like four interceptions against Cameron. So I'm really hoping that we get similar treatment. I would also love to see our defensive ends and interior D linemen get a couple more sacks before the year truthfully closes out. Oh, does Caleb Farley have any superstar abilities yet? I doubt it because he's a lower overall, overall recuperation. You know what? I'm actually okay with that for right now. I'm sending a blitz. Matthew Judon chases down the play. I mean... If we could have held the Cook behind the line for just another, like, second or two. I mean, Judon definitely has a tackle for loss there. They're loving the run out of this five-wide look. Let me try this instead. Start the... the f I was there! It doesn't matter. Dribble Peppers forces a fumble. On Keon Coleman. There we go. That's a great way to start out <laughs> this game. You know, Cameron called the fumbles no skill. All luck. I mean, I don't know. I feel like to an extent, the player forces a fumble. When the fumbles are being forced this consistently, I think it's either got to be something to do with the stat or something. I don't know. Man, if I could have somehow weaseled my way out of there. I'm just following the blocks. That's all I need to do. Just follow the blocks. I should have cut up the, in the middle. It's my fault. Get Demario Douglas as a lead blocker. i love to see if I can get this play to even work. If he, Baker would have caught that, that would have been hilarious. Alright, back to the ground we go. Got fourth and two. Pretty confident in our ability here. What is unfortunate is that Gibson is tired. We continue chugging along. He's approaching 1,500 yards in the season. And I know he's getting close to... I know he's relatively close to the one goal. Well, that didn't work. I know he's getting close to, like, 400 receiving yards. So, hopefully Keyshawn Mitchell checks in here. Nope.
That probably should have been a pick. Empty backfield here. We got Tyquan Thornton wide open. I mean, what are you going to do? Guy, guy got shook at the line. They send the blitz. Not able to connect with Javon Baker. What is this play? This play looks interesting. Jalen Polk checks onto the field for Tyquan Thornton. Don't know if he's injured or not. We'll find out fairly soon. But we're going to give Jalen Polk the opportunity to get his first, I think, catch and touchdown of the year. Let's go. I mean, we, we went rookie to rookie there. Imagine Marcus Jones got a pick there. Bills are down by a lot here. I mean, I, I I don't necessarily love that pass to Marcus Valdez Scandling, but I guess it works. Um, is this one of those fakes into a run play? Or Christian Gonzalez, Andrew Bo Peppers, neither of them get a pick. At least it was an incomplete pass. <coughs> I was going to say, no way they're trying this again, right? Who's number one? Like, is that like Emmanuel Sanders? Josh Uche with the sack. I mean, second half of the season, he has been nice, but I don't know if he's worth... Well, actually, I can't say if he's not worth, like, dog shit money a year because that's what I gave him. Like, he's been, he's got, like, a contract for less than 30 mil. It'd be interesting if one of the scenarios is asking for a restructured contract. That would actually be pretty problematic because the way that I like to play is I like to get players when they're young on a super long deal so that I can have players that I have developed plus whatever guys I bring in in the offseason. Because like, they're like built-in contracts that I'm going to have to worry about. Like Javon Baker, like... That's just a contract I know I'm going to have to worry about. Um, then I have uh, Drake May, which is a contract that definitely going to have to worry about. Um, I guess running back is going to be something eventually. At least currently it's not like a super massive deal as we fumble. Can we please not allow this to be a touchdown. This is going to be a touchdown as time expires. I'm an idiot. I really should have just held on to this. Man, if I would have sprung that. Well, 14-7 is your half. So, game plan. Throw it medium. And, uh... What was my other goal? My other goal... I did defend short pass. Because... I wouldn't mind seeing an interception, maybe? I don't know. I, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing an interception here. One thing that I definitely love about this team is that we definitely bring the boom. We bring the boom. That's what we do. Well, I, I am a big enjoyer. Of the fact that a lot of my team has pretty good hit power and therefore hit stick ability. So I love just the, uh, if you hit the player right where the ball is, there's a good chance a fumble happens. Damn, I thought for sure that wasn't going there. Well... I hate Running Man when they have a motion and the motion doesn't follow. See, like that. Like, when, when you just hit them at, like, the perfect time, hit them with, like, the full power boom hit stick thing that is in this year's Madden, it's, like, just so satisfying. Like, my this team may not get, like, picks like I'm used to. Damn. Well, that's a blunder. KJ Osborne returns to the game. 
We're going to let Tyquan Thornton just run under this. It's been a while since he's had a game where he gets a lot of yards. So we'll just give him those organic yards. Goated. After another successful defensive drive, we're not getting like the desired picks, but I, I think anybody would take uh, two, two fumble recoveries and a sack so far. I think that is Emmanuel Sanders, which I think is kind of crazy. I just want to make sure I'm always covering the tight end side. The tight end is typically been giving me the issues. That's Deion Dawkins checking out of the game. Is that Lael Collins at right tackle? Goaded. I have zero doubts. What the hell's world about? Don't love that. <clears throat> I have Houdini by Eminem stuck in my head right now. All right, well. Going into the fourth, we are up by 14. Got another wide receiver motion. If there's anything I've learned, it means that, that wide receiver is going to be sitting still. I really need to be following them. That's such a good distraction. I was focused so much on the running back, I didn't even look for Dalton Kincaid. All right, well. Oh my god. That that block was beautiful. Yeah, I'm just going to be uh, leaning on the coattail of Mr. Antonio Gibson. Devon Baker gets hurt. I, I feel like I've had so many receivers that like check out of this game at one point or another. I don't know why I threw that. Like, I really like... Caleb Farley free interception. Alright, sick. That didn't... That didn't matter as much now. So... My big... Thing with that play... I feel like I throw a pick on it, like, every single time I run it. So, like, why run it? <clears throat> that play, I feel like, has such a high touchdown rate. As well. Like, I feel like that, that play, at least to the slot, either is a touchdown or is a pick. So, I mean, that's, that's why I, like, still somewhat insist on running it. But I don't know. Not really crazy about any of these, if I'm being completely honest, but we'll see how this play develops. Not well. I kind of like this slant to Keaton Mitchell, but I, I also like that to Tyquan Thornton. He gets his second touchdown of the day. We take these. All right. Well, that was, that was quite the quite the way to start out this drive. Good job, Devon Godshaw. I think that's your first sack of the year. His second sack of the year. Maybe he has one and a half. I don't know. But we take those. I love Kyle Duggar. He's been such a good defensive back. Let's go. Yeah, I really don't have much commentary. Just running out the clock. Obviously, that's not running out the clock, but, I mean, just keeping the clock moving. This should ideally be the last drive of the game. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna stick in this cover two man. I'm, I'm gonna have fun with it. Marcus Jones gets a pick. If only he would have done this in the week he had a breakout player. Looking at the stats for us, Drake made 12 for 20. Uh, 278, three TDs, one INT. Antonio Gibson, 21 carries, 150 yards, two TDs. Uh, receiving wise, Javon Baker, four for 55 before he checked out of the game. Tyquan Thornton, four for 134 before he checks out of the game. Er, well, no, he didn't check out of the game. Jalen Polk gets his first touchdown of the day. Can't complain with our performance overall. So a bunch of my offensive linemen are getting a ton of skill points because I'm, I'm hitting, I don't know. Yeah, I'm hitting certain season goals that they have. So this has been kind of nice with some of my offensive linemen getting a bunch of dev or, uh, XP. Like this guy being a 75 overall. It's like you bring a lot of relaxation to my brain. You might start at right guard next year. And I might move Michael Owen Wendu back to right tackle. Like having a lot of this freedom is has been really nice. I feel like we're doing a good job to develop this team. We're 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 ticking off goals. We're doing everything we need to do. Marcus Jones gets his first pick. First or second pick of the year, which is nice to see. And then finally, we have. He's got 85 hit power. The only thing that's concerning is the tackling. But at the same time, I don't, he's going to get moved to linebackers. Just a matter of which spot. And of course, plus hit power is exactly what I need with my linebackers. All right, well. Off to next week with the Chargers. Ah, oh, damn. So I, I would really like to get a breakout player one of these times, but that's all I got for you today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. Probably the first time I'm asking you about that. So if you've been watching all this time and you're not subscribed, I should make this content a lot. Take it easy. Peace.